What is up, suspenseful fishing fans? How's it going out there? As you can see, I am in a room all by myself. And this is the welding lab at Career Center. It's because there's stupid kids out there that want to raise problems. Let's just say that at my school. So, yeah, I'm the only one here. So, um, this is how it's going to go. I decided to do a $10 Walmart challenge today. So basically that means I'm going to pick $10 worth of baits and I'm going to fish those. But I'm not going to fish those today. I'm going to fish those somewhere in the near future as you might predict because I haven't shown you guys a fishing video yet of actually me fishing. And I want to do that. So probably, I don't know, I mean like the weather is still so very cold in Michigan. Like it's 32 degrees here in Bay City. So, you know... It's getting rough. But anyway, I decided to choose these baits because... Well, let's just say I, I, I decided to choose two baits. The rest are just terminal tackle. Um, my first bait was the Yum Finesse Worm. You might be able to tell right there. Here we go. Um, and then my second one was the Johnson Beetle Boot. The reason why I chose these two baits is because if it's not warm enough to use a finesse worm because these things are just, the bass aren't biting, I can easily switch to a Johnson Beetle Boo and I'll be able to still catch panfish in the same area where bass are. And up in the northern area we have bluegill, we have gizzard shad, so that's basically what these bass feed on and panfish they feed on who knows what. I mean. I, I don't know. I'm not that observant of a fisherman, um, but but um, my terminal tackle. I was like, yeah, I gotta I gotta buy some hooks, you know. So um, and I bought the wrong hook size for the bait. I mean, I think it'll work still. It's just uh, I don't know. I mean, it's a two aught versus a three aught. So here we go. Eagle. It's. A, La Eagle Claw Laser Sharp Wide Gap Hook in a quantity of 6 and a size of 2 2 up. And uh, these are the needle, needle point ones. I mean, that's what they're known for. Needle point, you know. So, um, I'm going to take one out of the package to show you guys. I really like Eagle Claw's baits. I mean, not baits, but um, Terminal Tackle. I use them a lot. Them, VMC, and then Gamakatsu. I don't ra really have a, I mean, if I was going to pick a specific one, I'd pick Gamakatsu because they stay the sharpest, the longest, but that's personal preference. Um, this is what it looks like, if you can see that or not. Um, basically, they're just regular worm hooks that you use for Texas rigging, Carolina rigging, all that good junk. Um, and... The fourth thing I got is if I'm going to Carolina rig this because, well, if I'm in a river or something and I just want to have this thing flapping, you know, like that, across, like not across the water, but in the water column, I, uh, I'm going to choose my egg sinkers and these are the water gremlin egg sinkers. Um, more specifics on the young finesse worm, I'm going to list them in my next video, but yeah. The reason I chose those finesse worms is for, mainly because the water is so cold here. But once it starts to warm up to like, I want to say 45 degrees, I'll start using those. 45 to 55 degrees. Um, and then these Johnson Beetle Boo, I don't know, I mean like, they're basically like, I guess I would say, I'm going to take one out of the package. Show you guys what the hell these things are. Like, they're just gorgeous little pink minnows, I guess, is one way of saying it. Ow. Pricked myself. Okay. Well, this is basically what they look like. I mean, it's just like basically a big feathery thing with a lot of bulk to it. And you put it on your your rod, your line, and you basically fish it just like you fish any other jig, you know, you just, like, so let it sit there for a couple seconds, and then just
just jerk, jerk, jerk up and, you know, catch fish that way pretty easy. To me, I think the jig is the easiest thing to catch a fish on rather than a worm. Because I think bass now are actually getting used to seeing worms, so that's why people are going to have to come with new products like swim baits and stuff like that to actually catch more fish. Well, that was my $10 budget, and my total was $8.06, if you can see that right there. And I thought, it's pretty damn good, man. Pretty damn good for uh, all the stuff that I got to, call, to catch some multi-species. So, uh, that's it for today, guys. Um, I'll probably post another video later on. And if you haven't liked and subscribed, please do if you like gear reviews, fishing challenges, and uh, hopefully seeing me catch a big lunker. Please subscribe and leave a like. That'd be great, man. Thank you guys so much. And peace.